<laughs> Hello, Chris. Can you hear me? Um, very faintly. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Well, you still sound very far away, but let's give it a shot. Huh. I wonder what's going on. Oh, that's on. better. That's better. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm okay. How's the quarantining, isolating, treating you? Uh, it's going. It's going well. We have uh, we have food and shelter and our health and each other, and so um, we 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 couldn't have uh, we couldn't be better. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. So, are you um, are you the kind of person that's kind of trying to be creative in this time, or are you just trying to relax yeah. and? No, definitely. There's there's definitely much needed rest, um, but there's also uh, plenty of time to to be creative and and to play music and write songs. And uh, a friend of mine has adapted Uncle Vanya, and we've split it up into parts, and we're going to film each of our parts from our laptops and cell phones in our own home, and we will edit that together later. So there's all, kinds of, there's all kinds of things going on. Um, but mostly uh, we're just trying to figure out what we can do to uh, help our communities and um, and be of service. Yeah, wonderful. I'm glad you're getting some music in. That's good for the soul, right? Yeah. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about that incre crazy, incredible finale that we saw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it actually had some real kind of, I mean, it was obviously filmed before any of this happened, but it had some really uh, hopeful messages in there. You yeah. know, we, we saw the doctor talking about how life is ultimately more beautiful than tragic. And that seems like such a, a good message for us right now, the way things yeah. are. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, there are certainly a lot of uh, things to be, to be worried about uh, these days, but there are also, a lot of beautiful things happening. Um, you know, it, it, there are a lot of uh, uh, people, you know, j jumping into action to help their communities. The, the medical professionals right now are superheroes. We have several friends who are nurses and doctors and, and they could use all of the uh, emotional support uh, that, that we can give them um, because they are, uh, they're rock stars right now, um, mm. but yeah, there's 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 a lot of beautiful uh, connecting going on. Um, people are people are connecting, and, and I think the the internet may may finally be re <laughs> finally being used um, for more good than uh, conflict. Well, yeah, we we need that for sure. Yeah. Um, and then we saw, you know. Toby and Kate's granddaughter get born in this finale and, and called Hope, of all things, which also felt very pertinent um, to see that. Um, I know that, you know, I was like really excited to see that they have a daughter as well. That was brand new. How did you feel when you read the script for that? I, you know, they... The writers and Dan Fogelman have given us um, a, a pretty good heads up about everything that that's coming down the the path, but how how we get there hasn't been fully explained even to us in in all the ways. So it's exciting to kind of see the outcome before we know uh, the full path. Um, so it, it it'll be seasons five and six are going to be very exciting for for all of us. Well, I know, I mean, we're in the midst of, of obviously, you know, it's, it's a time when we're embracing television more than ever because, you know, we need to hold on to kind of stories of a time that wasn't in isolation. Um, so everybody, I think, is even more involved than ever in, in the story of here's Toby without his wedding ring. You know, in this, in this scene we're at Kevin's house uh -huh. and there's Rebecca, um, Randall and Kevin, there's still some, some long ago tension there at this point and there's Toby without the ring. Yeah. And I know we've seen little flash forwards before where, 
if we see Toby alone and everyone's asking, where's Kate? Mm -hmm. So I know that the creator, Dan Fogelman, will probably <laughs> be very cross if you give something away, but can you yeah. at anything at all? Yeah, I think it's, I think, isn't it? Isn't it interesting, you know, as, as we tell these stories and as, as we allow these stories to connect us, we have this urge to know the ending before we get there. And there's, it, it's very, it's a very human thing because the unknown, the unknown is what's scary. So we need, we need to know uh, uh, the, the future. We need to know the, um, we need to know the path we are all going to walk and how we're going to get there and how long it's going to take us to get there and what it's going to feel like uh, when we get there. And if I, if I gave away anything right now, it would, people would be so upset. And yet it's what we want. We want, we want to know, we want to know, we have to know. And then as soon as we know, it just lets all the air out of the tires. Um, so there's not much <laughs> I can tell you. Um, and I don't think that anybody really wants to know. I think, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's all part of the, uh, uh, the, the wonderful, that the fact that people w think they want to know is, is such a testament to the, the writing on this show and, and how, what excellent storytellers they are. Um, our writers um but yeah to be honest the very first scene where, the, where that where you see toby alone i didn't know i i didn't know it, it was just uh we just shot it and it was what it was and i don't know there's 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 a little bit of of uh you know, they, they leave it open. So as, as the story evolves, we can, we can adjust it here and there. But uh, yeah, season five should, should reveal quite, quite a few of those answers. Yeah, well, that's, that's your classic, this is us answer. Um, because <laughs> I like I've been nagging Dan Fogelman to give me any kind of insight for years now. And he's a closed book. Yeah. <laughs> Their, their, their storytelling relies so much on their, on their deft turn of, of um, reveal or, or uh, you know, that, that kind of, you know, M. Night Shyamalan-esque uh, uh, mystery in, into, the, into the reveal and the spoiler and the flip and, the, and the, uh, the audience kind of being brought along for this journey. So it's, there's a lot of things that we protect, you know? You know, something I was thinking about watching Toby's uh, story this season was you did some really tough work where he's struggling with Jack being blind and he kind of starts to avoid being a dad yeah. and has a lot of issues come up that actually that's pretty heavy stuff. Um, typical of This Is Us, like there's a lot of very, you know, very real heavy themes wrapped up in a kind of there's also lightness and and it's it's accessible um but i wondered you know what was that like for you playing that particular part of his story and i thought maybe it might resonate for some parents who are isolated with their children right now because it's a lot and i think that people are feeling quite overwhelmed by that yeah yeah i mean I'm, right now i'm sitting in, in our what will be our nursery. Um, Lovely. Uh, That's a great lamp, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Um, and, and, you know, it's not, it's not quite done yet. And our, our first child will be arriving around July 25th. So exciting for you. And, and so all of these kind of explorations as far as what it means to be a, a parent and what it means to um, bring a child into this world have been very interesting over this last season. Um, and yeah, I, I, I understand the resistance. You know, I, I, I've, I've shared, you know, over the last year, my wife and I've had 13 babies come into our life through family and friends, two sets of twins, 
five different um, stays in the NICU, um, you know, all home births, hospital births, uh, everything, every, every kind of combination of, of things that you can you can think of, and there's a great societal pressure on on parents to to be good marketers for the experience and to be good promoters of the of the experience, um, and then people put their own expectations and their own feelings onto people. Oh, you must be so overjoyed. Oh, you you must be so excited. Oh, you must be this. And you must be that. And 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 there's not a lot of room for yeah. And I'm terrified. And mm -hmm. I have all this anxiety. And, you know, as I've heard through through a couple of friends of mine, the baby arrived and I'm not feeling those sparkly magical tingles that everyone tells me I must be feeling. So what does that say about me? And what does that mean for my future as a parent? And there's all of these things that, that there has to be room for because they are all part of the experience and they are all um, acceptable and they all belong. Um, and so I was, I was happy to, to be a part of telling that story this year um, through Toby and Kate and that it's not all, it's not all, <laughs> it's not all fairy tales and rainbows. Um, and so I've just taken, I've taken all of the experiences that I've seen over the last year to heart. I've, I've used them in my work and I will be, you know, using them in my life. You know, I also, I really enjoy the depiction of where Toby gets into a little bit of an emotional affair. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's messaging that woman from the gym and telling her a little too much about his marriage. I think a lot of people saw that and thought, oh yeah, <laughs> I know that story. Yeah. Um, I love how this, how Toby and Kate really kind of go through the the whole experiences that I think people can relate to, um, right. especially this season. Um, I am seeing lots of comments from people saying, "Does Kate die?" And I feel <laughs> like I've already, I've already really tried to get that out of you, and we're not <laughs> we're Listen, not going to get any answers. We, I, I, I. I... I view this as a as a hopeful message, and and it's hard to to, to paint that way if, if people don't if people don't have a certain uh, if it's not part of their you know spiritual practice or their mindfulness practice. We all die, mm -hmm. and I think that that is an overarching theme of this is us. We all the, our time here is is finite, and what are we going to do with it? How are we going to treat our family and our friends and the people we are in relationship with for the short time that we're here? And how is, how is that knowledge, the, the knowledge that, this, that, that, that our time here is finite, going to affect the way that we treat ourselves and others? Um, so, yes, Kate dies at, <laughs> at, at some point. At some yes. point. I don't know Absolutely. if it happens. I don't know if it happens during our show, uh, but um, even even fictional characters have finite finite time. Well said. Very well said. Um, okay. What about this? What would, aside from kind of giving stuff away that's actually written, what what's your dream for Kate and Toby going forward? If you had your way, what would be your dream? My dream for Toby and Kate going forward is that they, they both became honest enough with themselves to, to know exactly what they want out of this life and then had the ability to express that to each other. Um, and then in a perfect world, they were both able to, for, to meet that need for one another. Um, that that is my idea of, of of intimacy, you know, and it's not, and it's and it's not romantic, and it, and it, and it can be painful, and it can be um, a lot of work, um, but 
And sometimes it means, sometimes that means not ending up together. I'm not saying that that's what happens um, because I actually don't know yet one way or the other. Um, but at least then there's, there's truth and there's honesty. So. So you don't actually, I don't want to harp on this, but you just said <laughs> you don't actually know yet. So that's something that like we're, we're in the dark as much as you in some ways, aren't we? In some ways. In, some in, ways. in, in small, small ways. <laughs> Um, and I, I really liked in this finale, you know, we see the kind of backstory of Randall and Kevin, and we kind of see this build up to how their differing philosophies are going to clash. What's the kind of vibe on set when those, those kind of um, big plot changes are happening? What's it like amongst you all as a cast? Chris, I can't hear you. Sorry. There's definitely a rumble okay. in the air. Um, and, you know, some people want to show up to set and watch. Um, they want to see, we want to see how our fellow actors approach something like this. Um, and watch them work, watch them craft these moments. You know, we want to see these moments uh, uh, come into the into the world of, of of our show because moving forward they will be a part of the history um but they're yeah they're big you know when the script when the scripts come out people we talk about it on our on our group our group threads uh um it's uh yeah it's exciting, exciting. i was going to ask you about your group chats yeah. What have you been supporting each other, chatting a lot? Yeah. And Zoom called with everybody. What's uh, yeah, like? yeah. I've uh, Facetime with Sterling the other day. Um, just kind of checking in on each other. I checked in with Mandy and Taylor um, yesterday, um, and we, we, you know, just sharing information and sharing jokes and memes and keeping keeping each other's spirits up. Um, you know, checking in with Mandy and Taylor because we're gonna. We're all going to be uh, and Chrissy and 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 Susan because we're all going to be kind of uh, doing a little reunion um, tonight on uh, an online show called Stars in the House, raising money for um, the Actors Fund, um, which is poorly named because it's not it's not just a relief fund for actors, but for for people in the entertainment industry, whether it's you know box office workers or or theater staff or hair and makeup choreographers, people like that. But yeah, we're gonna. We're all going to get together to, tonight online. For, for That's awesome. Yeah. Great cause. Great cause. So before I let you go, I want to ask you one more. Um, and it's a tough one. What is your favorite all time This Is Us moment so far? Oh, Can you pick? <laughs> oh, geez. Um, favorite. Favorite how? Um, one of my favorite acting moments. Um, in, in, in the entirety of the show uh, is Kevin outside. He, he had a one night stand with a woman and he, and he left his dad's necklace in the, in the apartment. And, and he was out in the front lawn screaming and begging for her to, 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 to return the necklace. And, and I just, oh, Justin Hartley is, is, one just one of my favorite actors i think he's so good and and that moment was was so moving um to me um yeah it's hard it's hard to nail them all down um you know one of my favorite moments for for myself was was dancing in that coffee shop i think season three um it's very rare that you get an opportunity to just do something that carefree and uh and joyful so that was that was great but uh yeah, there's, there's so many. Too many to count them all, right? Yeah. Some really great ones, yeah. Well, listen, um, I'm very excited to see what you do next. Um, have fun with the reunion tonight, and I hope you yeah. raise loads of money. For the yeah. yeah, again, that's going to be at, at 8 p.m. Um, Eastern, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific. Me, Mandy, her husband Taylor's going to be there. They're going to play some music. My wife Rachel and I are going to play some music. And... Uh, it's at uh, starsinthehouse.com, uh, and um, yeah, hope you can join us.
That's awesome. Well, yeah, great. Take care out there. And Thanks um, so much. congratulations on the new upcoming baby. Thanks. So, yeah. And that lamp, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a All great right. rest of your day. Take care. Have a, have a good one. Bye, Chris. Bye. Bye.